Elliot Shell with Creative Shell Bear. Today we're going to make a greeting card using some of the jelly print papers that I've been making. So I have my A2 card base, which is just a white card base, and then I cut a blue for my mat uh, at five and a quarter by four, and then I cut uh, my jelly plate down to three and three quarters by five. So we're just going to set this, the card base and stuff aside and we're just going to work on this. And a few days ago I did a mixed media. So this is going to be a mixed media card. But what I did is I did like a bird and you know a little saying and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that on this uh, paper and just kind of walk you through how to use jelly prints, you know, a different way to use jelly prints. Because I've had a few people ask, you know, what do you do with the jelly prints once you make them? So I'm just going to talk you through it. Here's another jelly print paper that I did. And you know, it may not look like much, but when you cut it down to something smaller, it really works out pretty good. And, you know, you see something that, you know, you may not have seen before. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting a little circle. And that's going to be our little bird. And I think I'm going to put it on this side. And I really liked the look of, if you saw my other video, I like the look of the long legs. So I'm going to put her up high. I'm going to get my Mod Podge out. Okay, so I'm just going to glue her down. And she will become our bird. stick there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little beak. I'm going to use my Posca paint pens for that. And I think I'm just going to use the orange. Okay, so I'm just going to make a little beak. That looks really good. I'm just going to make her some long legs. I just think that's cute and you know like Cat Hand says, because I can. <laughs> Which I think is so funny. Okay. You know again, this is your project. By all means, you know, do what you want to do. That's what makes them special and you know, don't let anyone tell you what to do, you know, on your project because everyone is different and you know we're gonna have fun I always tell my niece when she's helping me and she says Aunt Michelle what do you think I should do and I always say what's well, your project you know do whatever you want to do and you know which ends up backfiring because she says because I'm like when I'm stumped I said what do you think I should do and she says well it's your project you you know figure it out <laughs> so it's your project, so you just do what, whatever you want to do. Uh, I am going to make a little wing. And the way I'm going to do that is I have this little punch, and this is like one and a quarter punch. And I'm just going to cut out a, just a scrap piece of a jelly plate. I'll just use this one. And I'm just going to cut out a little circle. And then we're just going to trim it down so it looks like a kind of like a teardrop. I'm just going to kind of trim it down so it looks like a little teardrop. So now I'm just going to use some of the same um, same thing for the wing. Same thing I use for the wing for our uh, tail feathers. And I still have a few, you know, little scraps from that circle that we cut out.
use my black Posca pen and I'm going to just trace uh, before I made some straight lines. So I'm using this ink dauber, and look at this, isn't this gorgeous? My husband made it for me. But I'm just using um, faded jeans, and I'm just going to kind of cover up this one little area, just kind of add a little bit to it. And I'm going to go ahead and um, ink all my edges, just so when I put it on my, um, if I can. <laughs> When I put it on my blue background, it kind of stands out a little bit better. use some foam tape. This jelly print was on computer paper and so it's kind of warped so I just want to make sure I get it you know down really really well. So estimate where you know the center is because that's just what I do <laughs> isn't that so cute I love that okay so I'm going to use this really sticky tape to adhere that to the actual card of course I did that a little bit long that's okay though If you do it too long, then just go ahead and fold it onto itself. I've seen some people, you know, cut it off, but this just saves the step and keeps it from sticking to your scissors. Okay, so we have our card base. Get all my trash out of the way here. And we're just going to stick that on. Okay, and now I'm going to use this stamp set by May May Made It. 
uh, I'm going to use the cinnamon that says you're so tweet. Okay, so what I did is I just manip manipulated the stamp into the size, you know, the shape that I wanted. So I'm going to use some more of that faded jean distress ink and I'm just going to ink around my little circle just to kind of make it um, pop a little bit give a little bit more dimension and I'm just going to do a real light um, swipe across it just so it's just not plain blue you know just gives that a little bit more character Isn't that cute? I love that. Okay. So I'm going to use some more of the really sticky tape. We're going to glue that down. Then we'll put a little embellishment on the front of it. Okay, and then we're just going to put him right here. Isn't that so cute? I love how it's turning out. That's just adorable. Okay, and to finish it off, I'm just using this really cute um, decoration, and it just kind of has this little silver back. Um, I did that. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but I did um, a random act of kindness uh, that was directed by Donna Clerk and James at Little Spaceman Paper Crafts. And the lady that I I got on online or that I got paired with sent me this really cute gem. So I was thinking that would be really cute. It kind of brings out some of the purple in the background. So if you guys haven't checked out Little Spaceman Paper Crafts, if you haven't checked out her video, then you know her um channel then you guys should um, go over there and check it out she does some awesome beautiful work and I think you'll be really happy to you know to be involved with some of the things that she's doing it's really fun to you know kind of meet someone new and become you know fast friends with them and you never know what they're gonna you know become in your life okay so I put some art glitter glue on this little gem and I'm just gonna finish the card off by putting that right there isn't that adorable I love how it turned out and again you know it's just fun to do something a little different to make you know a card out of mixed media and you know just experience different things and learn different techniques I have a few links down below I have um, May May stamp set down below in little spaceman paper crafts go give them some love and thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day